Six days into the new year and everything has already gone to crap. Another crappy January day. <sighs> oh boy, guys. So, welcome to today's installment of Mike's Vehicle Vlogs. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, this is really got nothing to do with cars today uh, it's more of an update uh, both life update and channel update as well uh, I do want to start off by oh it's cold I do want to start off by thanking everybody over the years <clears throat> who has supported this channel and have watched all these videos uh, Within the last couple of days, this channel has finally made it to 20,000 subscribers. It's amazing. Um, around this time, 10 years ago, uh, this channel still only had about 1,000 and some subscribers. So definitely a huge jump in all of the years after, you know, after that the channel has been active since 2009 and I really didn't start utilizing it for car stuff until uh, well 2011 and uh, yeah like I said guys uh, we're at 20,000 subscribers now it's a little over now I think the last I checked currently is 20,004 so um, thank you so much for all your support over the years despite all of the content changes that has taken place over this channel over the years um, yeah, I just want to say thank you. I wanted to start this video off with that at least. But, um, yeah, so, uh, other than that, the year has not been very good to me so far. <laughs> uh, no, sir. <coughs> I have COVID. Uh, this is my first round with COVID, uh, since the pandemic has started. Um, yeah. I'm actually, uh, I'm really surprised that I made it this long without getting it, but um, I've had it now for, uh, I started getting sick Monday, today's Friday, um, I'm actually feeling slightly better today, uh, I'm not out of the woods though, um, <clears throat> but I, I, am, I am feeling a little bit better today than I have been. I actually just had a virtual uh, doctor's appointment this morning. And uh, the reason why I'm leaving the house is the first time I've been out of the house since Monday. Um, I have to go pick up the medications that were prescribed to me. Um, but yeah, so uh, I finally had uh, COVID for the first time. And while I want to say that, you know, I, uh, I I had a pretty mild case of it, it, it was... Uh, definitely had its bad points, but uh, I know a lot of people uh, end up getting it a lot worse than I did. <clears throat> it's weird because I just got over bronchitis uh, at the beginning of December. Um, so you can imagine my surprise when I got sick again uh, within a month's time. And uh, this time I just knew something something was different in the way that I was feeling. But it started off on, uh, you know, on New Year's Day, I filmed the vlog with the uh, Fiesta, the last vlog that you guys saw. Um, and I, I felt pretty good on New Year's Day. I really didn't have any weird uh, issues going on. I felt perfectly fine. It was the day after where I was actually at work and uh, came down with a really bad migraine, which a migraine is, you know, I get those all the time. Uh, 
something I've talked about in many vlogs before. So I got a migraine and I didn't really think anything of it. I took some medication. And the migraine really didn't uh, cease all that much. It pretty much lingered on, but by the time that I was leaving work, uh, I just felt really tired, really tired. And, uh, you know, again, didn't really think a whole lot of it. I just thought, you know, usually migraines have a weird effect on me. They could either just put me in excruciating pain or they'll, you know, they'll take my energy away. They'll make me sick to my stomach. I mean, it just depends on what kind of day I'm having with the migraine. But in this case, you know, it was just, I just felt like crap. I just felt so tired. I, uh, I ended up, you know, coming home from work after the day was done and I tried to make myself some dinner and I ate, thought maybe I'd feel better after I ate and I just didn't. So I ate and then I went to bed. I went to bed around like 7.30, which is pretty early for me and I ended up passing out. Um, and then my wife, my wife uh, had to work late that night so she didn't get home until like after 10 o'clock but I woke up around 11 o'clock and uh, she was downstairs and that's, uh, I woke up to the fever. Uh, so I, I checked my temperature and of course it was, it was about 100 degrees. Uh, so I knew something bad was, was coming and I was up all night from there guys. I didn't sleep at all uh, from that point. Um, you know, I went downstairs at like two in the morning, uh, laid on the couch, tried to sleep, had the TV on checked my temperature like every hour and you know at that point it was between 101 and 102 and it just it wouldn't go down so uh, yeah throughout the rest of uh, Tuesday uh, I ended up suffering with uh, the fever and then uh, on Wednesday you know the uh, Wednesday, well, Tuesday is when also everything else started showing up. Uh, you know, the congestion, uh, I, you know, the coughing started uh, pretty quickly that day. Um, so I obviously knew that I was sick again. I just couldn't believe I was sick so soon. Uh, then on Wednesday, uh, you know, everything continued. I, I still had the fever throughout uh, the majority of Wednesday. Um, Wednesday morning is when I decided it was time to take a COVID test. So I did take the COVID test and uh, it came back positive. Um, it came back positive pretty quick actually. They told you, they tell you to wait 15 minutes for that little strip to change and within two minutes that positive line was already there. So it didn't change after the remaining 13 minutes. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's COVID time for me and uh, yeah. So, uh, the fever went away, <clears throat> the fever went away, uh, late Wednesday. I have not had the fever since, um, yesterday and today has pretty much all just been the congestion. I'll tell you what guys, you know, the, the, the congestion pain and it, you, you know, what's weird about the congestion is I could breathe like the entire time through my nose, my nose hasn't really been plugged or anything, but the congestion that's still there, I've never felt so much pain in my face. It was making my teeth hurt at one point that it was just so bad. Um, <clears throat> but uh, other than that, I haven't really had any real issues with breathing. Um, Every now and then, you know, when I go to exhale, I might have a good cough spell come on, uh, but things are breaking up as I'm coughing. I know it sounds really gross, and it feels really gross, to be honest. Uh, but, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. So, I, I, you know, I was told by people who, uh, who have had COVID that I know there's really not much that the doctors can do, uh, un you know, unless you're, you're really, really having breathing problems or something, you know. Everybody that I've known has ended up, you know, just kind of riding it out. Um, but I did decide to, uh, you know, get a hold of the doctor um, and just to kind of get maybe some reassurance, you know, that you know, just with what I am experiencing, if, if this is something that's clearing up, 
um, or if I have to worry. Uh, but he ended up uh, prescribing me a couple of prescriptions that I'm, you know, I got the text message a little bit ago, and we're gonna go pick them up. Uh, and um, basically, uh, yeah, that's really the only reason why I'm out here. I I don't feel very energetic. Uh, that's been the second worst thing, maybe, other than the, well, actually, there's a lot of worse things to this. Uh, the fever was the absolute worst um, early, early on, followed by the face pain, but the lack of energy, like, I've heard other people talk about it, and, uh, yeah, I am, I've been sleeping so much over the last few days, and, uh, I just, I have no energy. I don't feel like doing anything. Um, but I do want to go get this medicine. So, man, <laughs> it's been, it's been crazy. What a crazy beginning to the year. <laughs> I just, I can't believe this. Um, but yeah, so now I got to worry about my wife. Um, so far she seems like she's been in the clear. Um, she, <clears throat> she is very high risk. Uh, when COVID first came out, I, I talked about, um, you know, all the stuff when COVID first came out. My wife's got the asthma. She's got the other, uh, she's got other medical issues. Um, she can't have vaccines for anything. So, you know, her with the asthma alone, we've always been afraid of her getting COVID because she could have been one of the ones who end up on the respirators. And uh, we obviously don't want that. Now that I have COVID, really got to keep an eye on her. She has so far been completely fine this week. Um, I hope that that stays. Um, I definitely would have much rather me get it than her. Uh, that's for sure. Um, I still have a taste, guys. I know one thing that everybody talks about, uh, some people lose their taste, sense of taste, and um, I still taste things. The, the thing is with, with eating food is uh, everything tastes nasty, and it's kind of like, uh, I think just because of the cold and the congestion, usually when you have a cold, everything tastes off, you know? And uh, everything that I've eaten... Uh, since this has set in has been off for sure uh, even water has a really nasty taste to it um, but every now and then something that I eat tastes kind of normal but I don't think uh, I haven't really lost my sense of taste um, just everything tastes gross like a normal kind of cold uh, you know symptom uh, that's that's really the only thing that I've uh, I've noticed. Now, I don't know if that is something that's gonna, <clears throat> if that's, oh my gosh, <clears throat> sorry, if that's something that's gonna stay um, after all this is cleared up or not, I hope not. Um, but honestly, I just, I don't want to feel tired anymore. I want to be, I mean, I missed work all week, uh, other than Monday, but I didn't know that I was getting sick on Monday. Um, I don't know. I just uh, I just can't wait to be back to normal. And hopefully, hopefully I don't have to worry about dealing with this again. I know now that they're saying it's possible for you to get it more than once. I know people who have had it at least a couple times already, but I don't know. I still, I still say I'm glad I got it now compared to, you know, almost three years ago when this, this was still new and nobody knew what it was and it was, seemed to be a lot more dangerous and a lot more potent back then. Um, so I don't know. But, uh, yeah, that's my update, guys. We, uh, been dealing with the COVID. Hopefully, uh, I got a few more days. Hopefully I'll be cleared up by Monday to go back to work. So, uh, need to go get our prescriptions now. 
All right, folks, so I made it back home. I got my prescriptions, grabbed a quick bite to eat, and uh, that's pretty much all that I've got for today. Um, even just driving around and having to walk through the store, man, it was its exhausting. I don't like this. Um, so I just finished putting uh, the last vlog together. So uh, it is rendered and uh, will be uploaded now for uh, this weekend's vlog. And uh, that's it. So then I'm, I'm going to go back and continue to rest throughout this weekend. Uh, next week's probably going to feel pretty long trying to get back into the swing of things. But that's, uh, that's what we got going on. So um, it's very important to... Uh, you know, keep uh, keep everybody healthy. Um, I'm sure I caught this from the guy who sneezed in front of me without covering his mouth when I was in the store uh, <laughs> not that long ago. So I don't know. Uh, keep your hands washed. Keep your if you if you happen to have a cold or anything, you know, mask up. Um, just you. Everybody knows it by now. Just keep. Think of everybody else. Uh, so that's oh, that's it. <laughs> this this sucks, um, and this isn't even all that bad. But man, it's just it's exhausting. Guys, uh, again, thank you uh, so much for bringing our channel to twenty thousand subscribers. That's amazing. Um, I want to thank everybody again uh, for watching over the years for checking in recently or periodically or just showing any kind of uh, interest or support for this channel and the content that I like to create uh, despite all the changes over the years and such. Um, it does get harder as time goes on for me to, to keep making content. Uh, the older I get, uh, the more responsibilities that I have obviously and well uh, I don't know. I, I sometimes, you know, I try to think of some different stuff to do. We may not always have projects on any of the cars that we've got, but um, where there is opportunity uh, in time, I usually will try to take an opportunity to bring new content. But uh, either way, I hope I'm still making things that everybody enjoys watching, including uh, stupid little vlogs like this. <laughs> But um, yeah, more so, again, thank you for the 20,000 subscribers. Let's, let's keep it coming, you know, keep them rising. Um, thumbs up, comment, subscribe. And that's all that I've got. I really need to go lay back down, guys. I'm just exhausted and sore. Um, I will see you guys next time, hopefully without COVID. Uh, <laughs> thanks again. Uh, take care, everybody. Take care.